Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing my PM skincare routine. This was another highly requested video and since I gave you all my AM skincare routine, it only made sense to do the PM. In my PM skincare routine, I do incorporate my actives so you will see the different active ingredients that I use. If you do hear any noise in the background, my apologies. I am currently doing laundry and washing dishes and Michael's working from home so this this is all about balance. So yeah, let's get into the video. So first step is double cleansing. And what does double cleansing mean? So it means that we first use either micellar water or an oil-based cleanser or an oil balm to remove the first layer. That includes makeup, SPF, any extra sebum that we have on our skin. And what I use is my Bioderma micellar water. So I prefer micellar water over a cleansing balm. That's just my personal preference. I have tried an oil balm. Um, I've never tried an oil cleanser, but if you like an oil balm or a cleanser, let me know in the comments below. The oil balm that I did try was the Pharmacy Beauty one, and I did like it. I just prefer micellar water, and I like using that with a cotton swab and just removing the first layer of my makeup or SPF. So step number one. Step number two is now we follow our micellar water with a water-based cleanser, which is my Jack Gentle cleanser. I discussed this in my AM skincare routine. It's really gentle, doesn't irritate me, and it really just, one, cleanses really nicely, and then two, it just is very soothing to my skin. I don't get red, I don't feel extra dry, it doesn't strip my skin, so gentle cleanser. Next is my retinoid, or for me, my prescription retinoid. So I use my Tretinoin 0.025% cream, and this is my active that I use at nighttime. Let's discuss a little bit of retinoids. So retinoids is pretty much used as the umbrella term for prescription retinoids and retinols. Essentially, they are different, but it's just, I guess, easier for people to refer to both of them as retinoids. Let's discuss quickly just the difference between a prescription retinoid and over-the-counter retinol. I'm gonna make this very simple so it's easy for you to follow. So prescription retinoids and retinols, essentially, they are both forms of vitamin A. However, prescription retinoids are obviously prescription medication, while retinols are found over the counter. That being said, prescription retinoids have a higher concentration of retinoic acid, while over-the-counter retinols have a lower concentration, which means they are less irritating to patients. That being said, since they have a lower concentration of the active ingredient of retinoic acid, it will take longer for you to see the results. However, patients will prefer retinols just because they are less irritating. For me, I can tolerate a prescription retinoid, so I use the Tretinoin 0.025% cream. There is one over-the-counter prescription retinoid essentially and that is called Different or Adapalene. La Roche Posay makes a great one. This is it right here and I'll link all these products in the comments below. If you cannot tolerate a prescription retinoid, a great over-the-counter one is the Jet Concentrated Serum with Bacuchiol in it. Just a pro tip when it comes to retinoids, if you feel that you are becoming very red and irritated from them, what I like to tell my patient is one, moisturize first, then apply your retinoid, then apply moisturizer again. It's like the sandwich method, so the retinoid is kind of in between the two moisturizers. That being said, sometimes patients can tolerate just applying the retinoid and then a moisturizer after. Never apply the retinoid on wet skin. I feel like that will make you more sensitive to the retinoid, and just a general rule, it will take about six weeks for your skin to actually become accustomed to the retinoid. So just be patient with it. Start slow. Use a pea-sized amount for your whole entire face about two times a week and then slowly titrate up. Okay, so why am I spending so much time discussing retinoids? Because literally, it is clinically proven to one, decrease wrinkles, promote collagen production, help with acne, increase cell turnover, help with hyperpigmentation, you name it, it does it. That's why I personally love retinoids. I've been using for years, I think since I was in high school, when I was prescribed that for the breakouts that I would get. Also, I feel like this is the only medication that really 
really keeps my acne at bay. I don't have a lot of acne or I'm not really acne prone, but this really helps keep my skin clear. Okay, enough about retinoids. Let's continue the regimen. If you have any specific questions about retinoids, just leave them in the comment below. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Essentially, you have prescription retinoids and over-the-counter retinols. If you cannot tolerate a prescription one, then try an over-the-counter retinol, but definitely, definitely, definitely incorporate it into your skincare routine. It will be a little irritating in the beginning. That is normal, just go slow. So next step is my moisturizer. So for my nighttime moisturizer, I like to use something that's a little bit thicker. So I use the Jekt Lipid Replenishing Cream. Previously in my Instagram post, I mentioned the Jekt Peptide Restorative Cream. This one's just a little bit thicker and I like to use this one now in the winter time when my skin can be a little bit drier. So this has the ceramides in it, it has some hyaluronic acid in it, it has natural lipids in it, it has antioxidants in it. So essentially everything that I want in my moisturizer, this has, it does not break me out. So I really, really like this cream. Next is my eye cream. So I use the same eye cream as I mentioned in my AM skincare routine. I'm not gonna repeat that, but essentially I use the same eye cream for my AM and PM skincare routine. Next are my masks. So I like to use masks maybe once a week. I definitely use it right before I travel if I don't have time to get in a peel. And essentially, I like to refer to my mask as my medical grade facials. I use a mask that has a higher percentage of AHA or BHA in it. And as discussed in my AM skincare routine, why are AHAs and BHAs good for us? Essentially, it improves skin clarity and texture and sloughs away dead skin cells just to clean our pores. So one that I've been using is the herbivore prism and this one is the 20% AHA and 5% BHA. I actually always do this the night before I travel. I feel like it just gives me that clean complexion. Another great one is the drunk elephant baby facial. I use that one before trying this one. With my masks, I do like to try different products. Everything else I'm pretty stagnant and I kind of like what I like. Essentially, both the baby facial and the herbivore have a combo of different AHA acids such as lactic, glycolic, and citric, and the BHA is the salicylic. The other thing that I have here is the Drunk Elephant Glycolic Night Serum. So prior, I used to rotate between my tretinoin and an acid at nighttime. I use the Sunday Riley Lactic Acid one. This one is the Drunk Elephant Glycolic Night Serum. It has 10% AHA and 1% BHA. I've now kind of went back to just using my tretinoin at nighttime. I like to keep it simple. I'll use this one when I go away or when I go on vacation, I'll travel with this, but I'm pretty basic with my nighttime actives. I just use my tretinoin and it's kind of my holy grail skincare product. Now that we just finished discussing my PM skincare routine, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. To sum everything up, best thing to take away from this video is to incorporate prescription retinoid or an over-the-counter retinol into your skincare routine. It really helps with everything. It will help you with breakouts. It will help just prevent and treat those fine lines. It will help with hyperpigmentation. For me, it's just one of those medications that really just helps maintain my breakouts and that's really the main reason why I love using it. Other than that, if you have any serums or night serums that you like, leave them in the comments below. As mentioned before, I am open to trying new products. I am just a creature of habit when it comes to my skincare routine. So what works for me may not work for you, but I do recommend to one, incorporate a retinol into your skincare routine, and then in the morning, incorporate a vitamin C into your skincare routine. Everything else is extra, but to keep it simple, the main ingredients or the products that you should have in your skincare are one, of course, a cleanser, a vitamin C, a moisturizer, SPF, and a retinoid. Simple. If you don't want to add all the extras, that's fine, but that's an easy way to kind of have a good skincare routine is just to incorporate those products. If you want personal recommendations, go see a provider. If any provider will come up with a skincare treatment for you, that's the best way to see what products are right for you. Other than that, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.